I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Lord, open our lips. Our, our mouths mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And as it was in the beginning, it is now, now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. O oh God, be merciful to us. Bless us. And thus show us the light of your countenance and come to us. Come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth for saving health among all nations. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you, you are judged to the souls with, with equity. Guide, guide, guide all, all the nations the upon the earth. Let the people, let the people the praise you. Let, you. let all the people, the people praise you. Praise the, you. The, the earth, earth has brought forth its increase. increase. May, May God, God, our God, own God, bless, bless us. O oh God, God, give us your blessing. May all the ends of the earth and the end of you. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, you are my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. And surely my cause is with the Lord and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us read responsibly Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his and holy his arm, he has won for himself, for himself a victory. The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness, faithfulness to the house, the house of Israel. Israel. All the and ends all of the earth have the seen the victory of the Lord. Lord. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice, and sing. Sing to the Lord, sing to the Lord with, with a harp, with the harp and the song of song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the Let sea, sea make, make, make a noise and all that is in it, the lands and all those, those who dwell, dwell therein. In it. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness, In righteousness shall, shall he judge the world and the, the peoples with equity. Glory, to, Glory the to the Father and to the Son and to the and Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is, is now, now and will be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the woman at the well, woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the father in spirit and truth for the father seeks such as these to worship him. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will proclaim all things to us. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Today we celebrate the life of Henry Martin, priest, missionary, and linguist. 
Henry Martin was born in Cornwall, England in 1781 and was educated at Cambridge University. He had intended to become a lawyer, but Charles Simeon, the notable evangelical rector of Holy Trinity Cambridge, inspired him to go to India as a missionary. After serving as Simeon's curate for a short time, Martin traveled to Calcutta in 1806 as a chaplain for the East India Company. During his five years in India, Martin preached the gospel, organized private schools, and founded churches. In addition to his work as a missionary, he translated the New Testament and the Book of Common Prayer into Hindi, a valuable missionary aid to the young Anglican church in India. He also began the study of Persian and translated the New Testament into Persian. Martin longed to go to Persia. In 1811, his persistence brought him to Shiraz, the first English clergyman in that city. He engaged in theological discussions with learned Muslims and had time to correct his Persian translations. Gifted with a remarkable facility for languages, Martin hoped eventually to visit Arabia and to translate the New Testament into Arabic. While on his way to Constantinople in 1812, however, he died in the city of Tokat in Eastern Turkey at the age of 31. The Armenians in that city recognized his greatness and buried him with the honors usually accorded to one of their own bishops. Very soon afterwards, his life of energetic devotion and accomplishment became widely known. He is remembered today as one of the founders of the modern Christian church in India and Iran, Henry Martin. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our, Our Father. Our Father, who art Lord, in heaven, heaven. hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, 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 Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. God of the nations, you gave your faithful servant, Henry Martin, a brilliant mind, a loving heart, and a gift for languages, that he might translate the scriptures and other holy writings for the peoples of India and Persia. Inspire in us a love like his, eager to commit both life and talents to you who gave them, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, to strive for justice and peace, and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us honor these vows, and let us pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders, and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. We pray for blessings on all peacemakers, on leaders who value peace, and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world, especially in Ukraine. God of love, in your mercy. Yeah, our prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves, to address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy. Hear yeah. our prayer. We pray for all nations that, the, that they may live in unity, peace, and concord, and that all people may know justice and enjoy the perfect freedom that only God can give. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Our prayers. We commend our nation to the Lord's care. Grant to Joseph, our president, Kathy, our governor, the members of our federal, state, and local legislatures and courts, and all those in authority, 
wisdom and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the church militant throughout the world, that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between rich and poor and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world, that we will respect all people as precious children of God and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for a reference of creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims throughout the world, that they may be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives, that a spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution. And that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all children and families, particularly for the orphaned, neglected, abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless, O Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Esther E. Knapp, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Kat Bates, Marie Nagera, Karen Liu, Eva Longmire, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massengill, and those responding to natural and human-made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm. Remember especially Hank, Peter, Bob, Mark, Pam, MB, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Todd, Carol, Einstein, Danny M, Pamela, Nat and Nancy, Jude, Sue B, Elsie, Sue M, Sally, MC, David, Jerry, Bruce, Pearl, Karen, Katie, the people of Ukraine, those suffering from natural and human-made disasters, especially from hurricanes Fiona and Ian, those injured due to gun violence and all those afflicted by COVID-19. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We commend you, Lord, all who have died, remembering especially those who have perished in the war in Ukraine, those who have died because of natural and human-made disasters, especially from hurricanes Fiona and Ian, those killed because of gun violence, the millions worldwide who have died from COVID-19, and all those we remember today in the stillness of our hearts. May they rest in peace. God of love, in your mercy. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, not as, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks to God. God. May the light of God illumine the hearts of our souls. May the flame of Christ kindle us to love. 
and may the fire of the Spirit free us to live this day, tonight, and forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.